Yes, it came, it came. So we gotta get out the fancy knife, cut this baby open, and swatch some paints. my two sketchbooks and we'll put these all off to the side so we can open them up in a minute. Got more of my favorite swatching paper. Sorry about the reflection. Get this out of the way. So this is the paper that I like to do my swatches on. I got some cold press and my favorite hot press. Saunders Waterford. You saw I got my two little sketchbooks for my little kits when I go out and about. And then let's go ahead and open these up. Jackson's always packages everything so nicely. And we got their new limited edition super granulating urban set. And we're going to open that up and we're going to swatch it out today. And in here, We got our Ian Tin Co. Red, and I don't know if I'm saying that right. It is a new pigment, so we're going to swatch this one out as well. And then for travel, I decided to try the little etcher. Palette, ceramic palette. I got that for fun to play with. So let me get these open and we're gonna swatch the new paints up. All right, I got all the plastic off of everything. This is how they come with their little label. We're going to have Urban Yellow, Urban Red, Urban Green, Urban Brown, and Urban Gray. Ooh, look at those. The box is so cute. So we'll go ahead and swatch these out. First up, I have the Yin Tin Co. Red. Hopefully I'm saying that even remotely correct. Ooh, look at that. It's it's more vibrant than I thought it was going to be. A lot more vibrant than I thought it was going to be. And they do consider this to be very granulating. Make sure we have enough water in there. 
can see it already coming. And this is hot press paper. So, the next one up we'll do is Urban Yellow. And these do seem to be filled very full. Ooh, very nice granulating yellow. Let's see if we can hold that up so you can see a little bit closer. And I'll hold all these up when they're completely dry. Now we'll go into Urban Red. The Urban Red looks a little brownie on the palette here. And it does have quite a brown look to it. Add a little extra water. And we'll see how that granulates up. Now we've got Urban Green. Ooh, I think I'm really going to like this one. They are very smooth when I add the water to them. Wow, that one is potent, very potent. Now we'll go ahead and grab the Urban Brown. Oops. Had a little movement there. Ooh, this is pretty dark. I'm trying to do these swatches quite large. So you can see the granulation. And you would get so much more granulation on textured paper. And let's see what the Urban Gray looks like. Oh, that's an interesting gray. It kind of has a 
green undertone to it. Very pretty. All right, while those dry, let's go ahead and see what pigments are in these. Okay, so they're just about dry. Um, the Intenco Red, which is, that is the pigment. We have Urban Yellow, which is PY159 and PV16. I don't know why I wrote these all over the place. Um, we have Urban Green, PY159, PV36, and PVK11. We have Urban Red, PY159, PR108, PV35, PBR6. We have Urban Brown, which is PY159, PR108, PVK11. And then we have Urban Gray. PY158, PR108, PB35, PBK11. Hopefully I got all of them there. I don't know why I was, I guess I was spinning the page while I was writing. <laughs> Make you a little dizzy there. So this one, I think one of the closest matches I would have is Petra Rose by, um, by A. Gallo. And so I'm going to swatch that one and see if that's even close, because that's what I think of when I look at this one. And so I'm just going to make a little swatch next to it and see if it's pretty comparable. Yep, that is Petra Rose by A. Gallo. That is also a granulating color. And let's just get it a little more dense. And I think that is pretty close. This Yin Tin Co. It tends to be a little more violety, um, pinky. But they are pretty close. And then I got out my granulating palette, and let's see what we have that matches up to, like the Urban Yellow. I wanted to see Desert. Let's see what Desert Yellow looks like compared to. This would be your Desert Yellow. The desert yellow, I think, has more green to it. And then let's try Volcano Yellow. And Volcano Yellow is much more bright. And then we have Shire Yellow. Let's see what Shire Yellow looks like compared to. And none of them are an exact match. Let me go ahead and write those names on it so we know what we've swapped. All right, so we got those labeled up. Let's see what we can, if I can find any that look similar to the Urban Red. I think Galaxy Brown might be one of the closest. Let's go ahead and see how that one matches up. I don't see any super granulating ones that match up to that other than this. This one might be a close match. It is pretty close. Pretty close. And that was the Galaxy Brown. Let's see what other ones I have to mix. For the green one, I think I have two that might... Maybe only one. 
forest green looks like. It might match up pretty close. Let's see. That's quite a bit more green. That's forest green. And let's try tundra. See if that one... No, that one's a little off too. I don't think any of the greens match up exactly. I think we had a closer match with couple of the other ones. This one matches very well. This one matches very well. Let me see if I can find any for the brown and the gray. I found two that might be close to the brown. And we have uh, Glacier Brown. It's somewhat close. The new urban has a lot more gray in it. And then haze brown. I think haze is pretty close. This one has a little bit more brown. Probably if you mix those two, they'd probably match up pretty good. For the last one in the super granulating palette that I have, I'm looking at all my colors right here. I'm trying to see what else I have. Let's try Haze Black and see if that matches to the gray here. This tends to have a little bit of blue to it. So that's Haze Black. And it's pretty close. The Urban Gray has more blue to it. So let's go ahead and try Deep Sea Blue. That is Deep Sea Blue. And I'd say that one's a little bit closer. And I'm just going to put Haze Indigo next to it. Let's see. No, Haze Indigo is way too blue. All right, so I think those are the only ones that match up. Let's let those dry and get a closer look. All right, let's take a closer look. So you can see if maybe you have something at home that might work as well. You can see Petra Rose is pretty close. This is a little bit warmer than the Yin Tin Co of the yellows, desert, volcano, and shire compared to the urban. Then we have forest and tundra green. On the blues we have indigo or haze indigo, haze black, and deep sea blue. The deep sea blue and these two are pretty close. As this one's dried up, I thought the glacier would be a little closer, but it's actually a little bit lighter. Haze brown is pretty close. Then we have the urban red, and the galaxy brown is is just a little bit less red, but has very similar look to it. I hope this helps to see if you uh, would like to get the new urban sketch or if you have something that might already work for you. So hopefully that helped you. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.